In this video, we are going to see how to get Slack messages for new HubSpot form submission. So here are the objective is that every time a new form submission happens on HubSpot CRM, then automatically with the new contact information, a message should be sent on Slack to my team sharing the details of the user that has been just added to HubSpot. Now, how can that happen? For this, we will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. So here your trigger application will be HubSpot CRM and your action application will be Slack. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and here we have reached a landing page. Now on the right hand side, we have the options to either sign in or sign up for free. So since I'm an existing user, I'm simply going to click on sign in. You can sign up if you are new. It is not going to take more than two minutes. Now here we have reached all applications page and these are the various products of Pabli. So here we are going to click on access now for Pabli Connect as we are doing this integration using this software. Now we have reached a dashboard and on the right hand side we have a tab create workflow. So let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. Now you can give any random name here. What is my objective? My objective is every time through form submission a contact is created in HubSpot. Then automatically a message should be sent to my team sitting on Slack. So I'm going to name it as get Slack messages for new HubSpot form submissions. Let's click on create. Now, as we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two different modules. One is trigger, another one is action. Now, these two modules are those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action here is the response of your trigger application. Now, as per this integration, my trigger application here will be HubSpot. Let's click on this. And the trigger event here would be new form submission. Okay, so here we have received a webhook URL. Now this is going to act as a bridge for connecting HubSpot CRM with Pabli Connect. So what we have to do is, first of all, I'm going to copy this. And then we have to follow this help desk given. Let me show you exactly what you have to do. So this here is my HubSpot account. The first thing is we have to go to automation, then go to workflows. Now, once you have done that, on the right hand side, we can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. Now, here we have got two options from scratch and from template. So I'm going to start from scratch. Now, as we do that here, we are going to start with a blank workflow. Let's click on next. So once this is done, we are supposed to set up the trigger. So I'm going to click on this and you want to set up a trigger when an event occurs. So I'm going to select this. Now, which particular event do we want form submission? Now, as we select this, so here we have to select the event type. So I'm going to select the form name. And here, what is the form name that I have? I have the name of the form as contact form. So I'm going to select this one, apply filter. Okay, and then save. So once this is done here, we can see the trigger is all set. Now I'm going to click on this plus icon here. And here we are going to select the action. So it is send a webhook. Now what is the method? It has to be post. Now the URL that we had just copied from Pabli Connect, I'm just going to copy this once again. And now I'm going to paste this here. So once this is done, let's click on save. So here we can see that our trigger and action is all set. Now I'm going to click on review and publish. So here review before you turn on so for the enrollment thing we have selected no only enroll contacts who meet the trigger criteria after turning the workflow on so this is what i have selected now i'm going to click on turn on so this workflow is now turned on so taking you back to Pabli connect here it is written that now do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. Now we want to check if the integration between Pabli Connect and HubSpot is a success. So to check that, now we are going to do a mock test submission. I'm going to take you back to HubSpot. Let's go back to workflows. Here let's go to marketing, lead capture and here we have got the forms. Now you can see I've created a few forms here and this is my contact form. Let's click on this. And now I'm going to click on view form. Let's fill in the details. Let's say the first name is dummy. Then the last name is user678. Now the email address is dummy user678 at publitudes.com. 
and then we have the mobile number let's click on submit so here we can see that the form has been submitted taking you back to public connect let's see if we have received the response and yes, here we can see that we have received the response. So this here is the contact form. Now, as I take you down, here we have the mobile number. This here is the last name. Then again, as I take you down, we have the first name. So once we have received these details, what is my objective? I want to send a message to my team sitting on Slack. So I'm going to choose my action application here as Slack. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be to send channel message. Let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Slack account. I'm going to select add new connection, connect with Slack. And here we have to enter the token type. So whenever I'm sending a message to my team, it may or may not contain some URL documents, etc. So whenever you are sending messages which may contain media files, always look for user. Now I'm going to click on save. So as we do that here, Pabli Connect is requesting permission to access the Pabli Slack workspace. So I'm going to click on allow. And as I do that here, we can see that the authorization has been successful. Now, before I do that, I had already logged into my Slack account. So please make sure that you have done that as well. Now, here we have to enter the name of the channel and then the message. To understand this, let me first take you to my Slack account. So these are the various workspaces and here I have selected Pabli workspace. Then within these workspaces, we have created many channels. And here I have recently created a channel. The name is HubSpot New Leads. And then every time you create a channel, you have to add a few team members. You can either make it public or private. Now, how do we do that? So to add channels, you have to click on this tab. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to look for HubSpot new leads this is the channel now what is the message that you want to send to your team so the message that i wish to send to my team is team a new user has been added to hubspot via form submission now here i'm going to add the details how am i going to do that so as i click on this you can see the previous step here now here i'm going to look for dummy so this here is the first name now i'm going to give it a space let's go back here and here i'm going to look for user 678 so this here is the last name now the method with which i have added the information here is known as mapping and this is important so that every time the workflow runs it can take the new data into consideration now let's say that i had written the same name manually so even when my workflow was running for the 10th time and it had some new data it wouldn't have taken that data it would have taken dummy user 678 only because i had written that manually now the moment i write any information manually it becomes static now whenever i want dynamic information it is better to map the information so the next thing that I have to map is email address so I'm going to go back here look for the email address and here it is and then we have the contact number so I'm going to look for the contact number now and yes here it is so this is the message that I want to send to my team now if you have any image so you have to paste the URL here text here boat name boat icon now I'm just going to leave this blank click on save and send test request and as I do that here you can see I have received a response now let's check if I have received the same message on my slack channel so yes here we can see we have received the message so this basically means that our integration is a success but we also need to check the same in real time so I'm going to take you back to HubSpot and here I'm going to click on view form once again and again I'm going to fill up this form. So let's say the first name this time is test. The last name is new. Then we have the email address which is test new at pablitudes.com and then we have the mobile number and now I'm going to click on submit. So the form has been submitted and as soon as the form has been submitted automatically I should receive a message on Slack. Let's go to Slack. I'm going to quickly refresh this page. And here you can see that we have received another message. Yes, this means that our integration is a success. Now I'm going to take you back to Public Connect to understand what we have done. So here our trigger application was HubSpot CRM where the event was new form submission. Then once we had received the response, my action application was Slack and the event was send channel message where I had shared the details of the new user with my team. 
I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow. The link is there in the description box. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Public Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.